Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? I'm, I'm in a beautiful park here in Indiana, and I just want to get outside. The, you know, I was cooped up for too many months to one of the most brutal, <laughs> bitter winters we've ever had. And I just wanted to get out and enjoy some of the weather this morning and record some of my videos here before going back to the studio to do the live broadcast. Um, and what, what made me think about it, I've seen this, I can hear the birds out here chirping, squirrels are running. Uh, it's just, you know, to get out in the, in take a deep breath of some beautiful uh, scenery and enjoy a little bit of God's great blessing upon us here in Indiana. But I do want, and I can see that when I sit here that the light changes the light, and I'm sorry about that, but uh, I could go sit over in the sun, I guess, and do it, but I don't know how that would work. Maybe next video. Let me just uh, share a little bit with you right now. I got a report from Rose this morning, but there is a serious problem, and uh, Yellowstone National Park, we all know that this volcano is on the vert. It's, I'm not saying it's going to blow tomorrow, but certainly... There's been a lot of rumbling and, f and, and grumbling within the bowels of this thing. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm, and this is a serious thing. And you might not think it's all that big a deal. But whenever there's a 4.8 earthquake in Yellowstone National Park, when old faithful geysers are, are shooting not only steam but smoke, when the magma is rising and, and when the elk... The buffalo, the bison are running all out of Yellowstone National Park. You got a problem. Are you serious? You've got a problem. What? What will happen, Pastor? Well, the United States of America has a contingency plan if and when Yellowstone National Park blows. Matter of fact, let me give you a, a picture of a map on how much of the nation they assume will be major affected. Here is the map. As you can see, Yellowstone, there on the map, way up there. And according to the uh, government, there's Yellowstone. This much of the nation would be affected. I mean, basically, almost the entire West Coast... I mean, I mean, we're talking half the nation, half the country, and I mean devastated a lot of it. There would be no, uh, well, if this thing blows, there'd be no survivors um, for a major portion of this map, but not all of it, not everybody in the danger zone. There would be survivors, but the rest of the country would be as well devastated. The world would be affected. The weather would change. This is of biblical proportions if it blows. Now, I want to share with you what the contingency plan is according to the federal government. Now, this map from the U.S. Geological Sur uh, Service shows a range of volcanic ash that was deposited after the three huge eruptions they believe that's happened uh, about 2.1 million years ago. You might say, well, man's only been around 6,000 years. That's right. Man's been around 6,000 years, but God has been around forever. He always has been. He always will be. And his creation has been around for millions of years. Uh, if Yellowstone's supervolcano erupts, then millions of U.S. citizens could end up in Brazil, Australia, or Argentina. That's according to the South African news website, Prague, which said that the African National Congress was offered $10 billion a year for 10 years if it would build temporary housing um, for the Americans in case of an eruption. Now, the potential eruption of the supervolcano, one of the biggest in the world, has been a hot topic ever since videos of animals allegedly fleeing the area. Allegedly, they were running down the road. We have videos of them running. They're not allegedly running. They are running. Uh, anyway, before an earthquake was posted online, although the, the, the claims haven't been backed up 
Dozens of bloggers and others have been trying to figure out what, if anything, is going on. Of course something's going on. Why would the government offer the uh, South African government $10 billion a year for 10 straight years to build temporary housing for millions of Americans if something wasn't going on? Are you serious? Are you serious? Um, then it says one of the latest theories is that the United States Geological Service and its partners, which keep an eye on the cauldra, are hiding data from the public. Well, I'm not shocked by that. The Prague article says that South African government fears that placing so many Americans in South Africa could dramatically change the country. Well, of course it would change a country. If you have millions, multiple millions of Americans showing up anywhere, it's going to change the country. Uh, South Africa will not be part of the plan because there is a risk that millions of white Americans could be sent to South Africa in an emergency situation and that this would pose a risk to the black national culture identity. Now that is, that to me would be, I hope to God that's not really how people feel. I really hope to God that's not how people feel. But um, that is the report. Uh, it also says we have our own challenges. Even if there's enough housing and infrastructure available, it will destabilize the country and may even bring back apartheid. So the gigantic volcano in Yellowstone has erupted three times over the last two million years, according to scientists. And, of course, now we know it is rumbling again, earthquakes, and animals are fleeing. I'm just telling you, folks, that from a biblical standpoint, the earth is going to melt with a fervent heat. Even the elements thereof are going to burn up. Now, the Bible talks about fire and brimstone falling upon the planet. Could that be from the explosion of a, a super volcano in Yellowstone National Park? Well, that could be a part of it. And what could trigger it is a major asteroid crashing into the earth because the Bible does say that's going to happen in Revelation 8. When it says it's going to be like a star falling from the sky, turning the waters into wormwood. And another one, a mountain burning like a lamp into the sea, killing a third of the fish in the sea and de destroying a third of the ships in the oceans. So that could also trigger the super volcano to erupt with tsunamis and explosions and volcanoes and a lot of stuff. So we know the Bible tells us that that type of events will happen on the planet. The question is, is that the wrath of God or is that a harbinger of yet what is to come? See, a lot of times people can maybe overreact and make assumptions that, uh, you know, we may see some major catastrophic events and it not be the wrath of God. It just be the harbingers that the wrath is coming and God trying to get people to give their life to Jesus Christ. So I'm going to leave these thoughts with you, and I'll be right back with more current world events here from the beautiful park here in Indiana. I'll be right back. God bless. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I'm enjoying the day now, but there's a day coming. This world will not be as beautiful as it is behind me today. Check that out. <laughs>